<laughs> Would you call this a, f a feminist film at all? Uh, see, Iranian the... feminist, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. For us, I would say, in a way, yes, because, um, you know, we live, the big thing about this film for me, which is called, it's called The Fish Fall in Love, which you and I agree is a The Fish Fall in Love. The Fish Fall in Love. Okay. The Fish Fall in Love. Yeah. Um, uh, the big thing about it is that it shows us Iran, mm. which is a completely different place. It's like when, when you, if you travel to another third world country or something like that, you see how incredibly ridiculously we live here in a way, how flush and easy and soft our life is and how, I mean, and also among other, other, among other things, just kind of just what everydayness is like over there, you know, yeah. how hard, how complicated it is. And I would suggest is. too that as things get more difficult over here, it's going to make more sense to us. And, and the culture maybe is getting more not uh, f feminized is the right word, but there's there's more uh, there's women have a stronger voice now, and In I don't here, think it's yes. necessarily f feminist. It's just we need that voice. And that's I what agree that, with you. and that's what I, I feel is happening in, in this this Argentinian movie um, kept and dreamless. Women are kept and dreamless. It's basically based on a song, and and all of them are in those positions where the men have either no ambition, screwed up, lack any kind of power, and the, and the women have fell into this place where they're they're kept and dreamless. The little girl is kept, but she is not dreamless. Yeah. And uh, this, it just I mean to see this movie just for the performance of this little girl. You're talking about putting on makeup. There's rites of passage for a little girl for coming of age. She's not coming of age. All the other women are coming of age. Right. The men might have to come of age. She's the heart of the movie. The performance is astounding. There's a there's a scene where she's on a toilet learning how to use a feminine product, <laughs> and and you're just going, no way. Right. Yeah, and I'm not going to say it's graphic. It's shot at quite a distance, but just the subject matter alone is so in your face feminist. Let's talk right. about feminine issues. Let's talk about what women go through from shaving your legs right. Right. to having to um, find power it's a very it's a marxist critique of uh of well, the that, country by the way, as much as anything. By, by the way the, val the one of the big things one of the values the class of this issues are huge huge and it's huge yeah. also in this the iranian film which is um the the guy who owns the building his father was a big own, landowner or some some big guy and owned a lot of land and was the master for this whole kind of area and um there's a lot of classist issues and the man who comes back, actually, he was a revolutionary. He was like a, he's got, he was a, he drew things. He, he was an architect, but he was a drawer when he was a kid. And all of his drawings are of Che Guevara and of Marx. And part of the thing is what we don't know here, one of the beauties of, a, of world cinema or non-American cinema is that it shows us another world that we don't live in. And one of the big things we don't live in is that we don't live in like a post-Marxist environment here. Mm. I mean, th the rest of the world, by the way, was knows who Marx is, and w communism was a, a very, very important part, a cultural part, not a po not just political, mm -hmm. but a cultural part, a way of looking at how the world functions, and it's very, who very has important. Power and why? And, and how and money, why? And why and how that money controls? And, wh and how, how it, controls. it affects small lives? Absolutely, and also yeah. about the function of art. A, a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of what Marxism is about is that uh, art is necessarily propaganda, and it always is. Not, be, not, not because it wants to be, but because it has to be. Because it is. It's a reflection, mm -hmm. and it's instructive, and so, um, and, and it's just very interesting how the different things can come come out of that. And we would never see that stuff here in America, mm -hmm. which is where we basically, you know, have capitalism as a religion. So. Um, it, it's a very interesting and thing. How, and, the, and the thing that makes the box office is how entertaining this movie and how well do I know the people in the movie already. Oh, yeah, and how big Who's the box office is. When, you know, I was just in L.A., and when, when you're in L.A., you know, I mean, it's front page news. Literally, you get the, the L.A. Times, you know, the L.A. Times, I guess it is, and on the front, it's box office, box office on the front page. Mm. So that American audiences want to see what everybody else is seeing. Because that's why they want to do it. And right. they want genres because they want to know what kind of stories they're going to be seeing. Absolutely. And they want movie stars because they want to know what they should be thinking in some ways. Absolutely. There's a little, you know, touchstone in that actor. That's He'll right. bring us back to the movie. And these movies don't do any of those things. That's but right. what people will be amazed by is the ideas that sprout from them. I think that's right. And I in a change in right. American society, which is absolutely happening now, now the Bush administration thankfully is going to, oh, you know, 
away to some extent. Um, we, we need to have places to reflect ourselves against. That's right. Yeah. And that, that is one of the beautiful things that the world cinema can give to us. Mm -hmm. the, I, I, there's another thing that we talked about, and that is uh, that you wanted to bring up, besides subject matter and that stuff, but also uh, in the way that the stories are told. What the, how, you, how you narrate a story and what issues you show, and of course, of course, the pace which is a gigantic thing. Mm. I mean, we are just, we are so overstimulated here mm -hmm. and the gigantic amount of overstimulations that the movies represent for us here in America. And if you, and, and by the way, it is positively addicting. And the real question for me is, if we have a world cinema, it, do we have a world cinema now that really is totally infected by the narrative structures and by the language of American film? Yeah. You and, know. I, and, and I would add that if you go to see a film and it doesn't meet with your expectations of pace, stay Settle with it. with it. Because the, the custodian, which is about a bodyguard to a rich politician, um, uh, I hate to say this, I was at the, sort of the Connecticut Film Festival and there were three people in the audience. Oh, there we go. And, um, and I thought, well, this is just you know, a slow movie. And then I watched it and it just drew me in. Right. The, the, the pace was absolutely became hypnotic. Not that it was slow at all, yeah. but I had to watch the eyes, the behavior, the small moments of what happens. And this little girl will give you that in spades, just to look at this little girl's face, to see her uh, controlling her world. Uh, I, I don't know how an actress gets so good. Hmm. I, I don't know so how. So young and so. And I, I don't know. Without I making a lot of movies, has she not made a lot of movies, or has she? I, I couldn't find her anywhere, and I wow. don't have her name in this write-up. So, so, you know, go on the internet, see the movie, um, you know, yeah. Captain Dreamless, and see who this little girl is. And I don't know what that means for her as a career. You know, who right. these? You, know, you don't know who these people are. Right. And that's part of the magic of it as well. That also is a really fun part of it, yeah. and just to also just the discovery. I mean, you're going to be seeing things that most people haven't seen, yeah. and that's really a. Oh, wonderful. Thing. And we're going to be doing a few more of these movies, too, as we go forward. Um, uh, so encourage you to get out and see these uh, Global Film Initiative films coming to the Coolidge Corner Theater, I believe, on Sunday nights. The first one being, uh, well, a few of them have already played. Uh, the next one is uh, The Custodian on July 6th. And then the one that you saw is... When fi the Fish Fall in Love. The fish fall when in Fish love. Fall in Love. Look on the site for the uh, schedule. And Captain Dreamless, which is an amazing uh, film from a country that's bringing out some remarkable wonderful stuff these days. Yeah. So wonderful stuff. Thanks, Sheldon. Thank you, Tim. All right, good. And we'll see you at the Coolidge.